Basketball fans, we are back at Dream Chasers home court with my guy Justin, and today we'll be breaking down Steph Curry's infamous floater. But first and foremost, I gotta find out what we need to do in order to get ready to do this move, and also what makes Steph's floater so different from everyone else's. All right, Justin, break it down. So the key in this entire thing is making sure that you gain your advantage over your defender. So as Curry gets his defender on his hip, he's able to then get to his floater. Now in this second clip, he's again gonna gain his advantage, have his defender on his hip, and right before the secondary defender comes here, he's able to float it up. You look at the replay and he slows it down, it's important to realize where his release point is. Most floaters are overhand. As you see, Curry goes underhand here to extend it away from the defense and float it up super high over his defender. All right, Just, last time we were here, we were breaking down the James Harden step back and you're able to break that move down into pieces so that we can practice them before we get into the game. You do the same thing for the step move? Let's get started. All right. So the key here is we're gonna work on the mic because it all comes down to the footwork. Same footwork you'd use in a layup is the same footwork you're gonna use here. Okay, so you're gonna start with a mic in, okay, really close to the basket. So you're gonna go other side, same thing, okay? Mic in, just like that. Get a good five, two, three, four, good, one more, one more, one more, perfect. Once you got the touch close to the basket, okay, it's all about timing. As you see, when Steph did it, his timing was impeccable, okay? He had a defender on his hip, but most importantly, when he got closer to the rim, he was able to time where the defender was at and able to flick it up right before they get there. So what you're gonna do now is you're gonna start closer to the basket, maybe about two steps away, no dribble, we're gonna do the same footwork we would use in a layup. So we're gonna go right, left, and get to a flick. Okay, a high flick. Go. Perfect. One, two, up. Right, left, up. There you go, okay? So now what we wanna do, now what we wanna do is put that all together, okay? The touch at the basket with our footwork, also with the defender, okay? And we're gonna add Coach West here, he's gonna be on your hip, you'll get past him, flick it up right before the defense. Okay. Good, yep, one, two, up. There you go, perfect. Curry again. Curry down the lane. Teardrop again! Curry with the beautiful teardrop. Yep, I got one. I got one. Yep. Here we go. Woo! And just like that, Steph's floater. Up next, we dig into the hometown bag and Pascal Siakam spin. Woo!